Okay, reapings here, buddy. Welcome back to Series Curious Adventures and Fallout New Vegas. Um, got a tip last time saying we should probably go back to the think tank and just talk to them. Uh, not sure why I didn't think about that. I guess, like, after we talked to them for quite a while, I was like, uh, enough talking. Oh, one second. Had to change my FOV. Uh, all good now. Did I loot all of this? I mean, I didn't loot the other things, the ones I don't want, but I think we got the important stuff here. Okay, they, yeah, they're still like hovering I around hear here. Your penis tits feet dropping around. Oh man. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. Oh god, that's a lot of dialogue options. Okay. Um Let me see here. I'll go with the science stuff. I'd be honored if I could hear any knowledge the think tank had to share on the sciences. Why yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Okay. You seem like the one in charge. You are? I am Dr. Klein, Chief Head Researcher of Logistical Operations and Ideology here at Big Mountain. I am surprised you have not heard of me. I am first in my field. First chair, as it were, back in the days of chairs. Okay. So who's this Dr. Mobius? Dr. Mobius was not the horrifying creature you saw upon the screen, twisted by science. He was once one of us, a friend. He researched in directions contrary to the think tank. Brains, 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 always about the brains. So we exiled him. He says he left of his own volition, but that was to save him the embarrassment. Now he sends his intelligence-consuming scorpions from the Forbidden Zone to plunder the secrets of Big Mountain. He is a menace. Hmm, okay. I guess he has my brain right now. Like he's using it for something. Let's do science again. These mechanical robot scorpions consume intelligence? Are you certain of your findings? Dr. O is certain of his findings. And no one else in the think tank is willing to test the results. Loss of brainial power. Terrifying. O has said on many occasions his inability to comprehend Mobius's robo-schematics is because of repeated robo-scorpion stings. Okay. That gave me XP because it was like a check. I actually sometimes wonder if like, should I? Like, does it matter which check you go for sometimes? Or should I try to go for the one that uses the highest uh, skill check or something? Because the medical one was 50. I don't know if we would have gotten like more info or different better info out of it. Mm, why do I have this strange passive sensation in here? It's a side effect of the cerebral scrubbing. It won't stop you from excreting or asking questions apparently. I have to correct that next time. Hormonal aggressive tendencies are actively suppressed, however. They are a no-no and not permitted in the think tank. The scrubbing also ensures your silence to keep Big Mountain safe. This facility is top secret, and you cannot speak of it to anyone outside of Big Mountain. Should have done it with the last batch, and the anti-aggression scrub. Why the anti-aggression programming? We had to take precautions after the last visitors. They caused a great deal of damage in a short time. Should have made sure they couldn't mention Big Mountain once they left. An oversight. Hmm, okay. Who were these visitors? Dr. Eight and Dr. O could tell you more. Wow. Dr. O more than Eight. The battle yeah. against the visitors damaged Eight's voice module. Suffice to say, those visitors are unwelcome. They stole a great many secrets and much technology. Hmm. Impertinent. They also broke one of my trains. <laughs> Trains. Um, I'm guessing it's the Brotherhood of Steel. We've seen, you know, um, what's her name? Christine's outfit, and Elijah was talking about this place, etc. So, what exactly is this place? This is the think tank, the nerve center of Big Mountain, the greatest research center known to man and to us. Here we test and test and test some more in the name of science. Atomic power, nuclear power, and scientific power. 
Okay, I've heard of this. Uh, I've heard this place called the Big Empty. I I realized uh, realized this the other day too while I was editing that. Um, on the signs it always says MT, like the letters MT, and but they always say empty. So, I, so there there seems to be a lot of these things where like um, they do a lot of jokes with just text, I guess. You know, like in written form it looks different than it would be when you say it out loud. Like I can't remember who it was, but there was this like other person or something someone was talking about. It's not like a name, but in reality it's just like the way it's written is like creates like a different word or something. Yes, because the intellectually challenged see an M and a T next to each other and take Occam's razor to it. While you are here, you will refer to this place properly, and you will do the same with the other scientists here. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. It's kind of funny that they do this a lot, though. It seems like... It seems to be a running gag. Um, same with, like, things like Novak and stuff, right? Like, that people call it that just because of the the sign being fallen off. Um, I'd like to know more about the Forbidden Zone. That glowing red scar? That laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape as if by some child? It is Mobius's fortress. From that hemorrhoidal fissure, he sends his amazing robo-scorpions to terrify and irritate us. <laughs> he always tended to the dramatic. Okay, can you tell me more about these pylons? Ask Boros. I believe he knows more about the fence than any brain. Except maybe Mobius. Mobius was involved in their construction, if I recall. But he's such a hack, he probably was reading off Boros' notes and schematics. Okay. Uh, well, I have some questions about his brain extraction he all performed. Well, we didn't actually do it. We tried to clean up after, as always, but usually the auto dock runs on remote. But we programmed it, or Mobius did. Still, this new wrinkle with the Tesla coils in your skull was unexpected. I mean, we predicted we'd have a breakthrough eventually, but... Dala knows more. She supervised your spine peel and the heart circumcision, then dumped them both into the tanks in the sink above. Quite sanitary. Sure took her time. She always takes longer than projected with lobotomite surgeries. Not sure why. Mm-hmm. Guess she likes them. Uh, you said before that Mobius might have my brain? Yes. In all probable likelihoods. Yes. Possibly. That it may have gone to Mobius is merely an inkling. I don't know why, but it may be something involving the surgery code. Actually, I don't know. All I know is it misplaced itself, or it floated off. They get into robots sometimes and go on a tear. Right, that's that's very typical for brains, it seems. Um, like, for example, this one we can't do, but I wonder if this one would have been, like, a bit better or something. Uh, what's this autodoc surgery code you mentioned? Mobius's legacy code was in the old autodoc. Yes, it fried itself after your procedure, so he couldn't tell for sure. It is unfortunate. We would have benefited from knowing how the breakthrough occurred. Even if we installed another chip, the information is lost. Okay. Uh, why would Mo Mobius want my brain? Why does he seek our destruction? Why did he build robot scorpions with intelligence training stingers? It is because he hasn't cleaned his biogel in... A long time. Clearly he's got some sort of psychological corrosion. He's mad. Mm-hmm. Roboscorpions drain intelligence from living creatures. How? Chems? Oh, so we do get the option still. I'm not certain. Perhaps it only affects machines. If so, you may be immune. If it is chems, then we have nothing to fear. Since we are afraid, it must not be chems, and you need not fear, which means you can test it. Logical. Totally makes sense. Okay, that's all for now. Yes, a most goodbye. These guys are crazy, because I'm like wondering, you know, these were normal people before, because they put their brains up there. Uh, but, you know, the way they talk now is like they're actually a robot, and they, they don't understand the human physiology or something. Um, even though there used to be some, so I don't know if that like somehow damaged them that procedure or they got changed over time It's kind of odd. Okay, who's this one? Dr. A. Let's see how much info we can get from Dr. A. 
Maybe, uh, maybe we can repair him or something. Can you speak? Do you understand me? Hmm. Okay, your voice module got damaged. I heard in an attack. If only you could like type or something. Uh, is that a yes or no or a yes no? Hmm, I'm pretty sure you can understand me and I want some answers. <laughs> Jeez. Um, is there anything like where we can like, I don't know, fix him? Your damaged voice module, can you tell me about the attack? Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't catch that. Maybe part of the damage? Who are you? I wonder if there's gonna be any like options here. That <laughs> sounds important, I think. Uh huh, uh huh. Long story. I mean, it's kind of funny to see these answers, but I don't know if this is really doing anything for me right now. Like, do you know anything about Dr. Mobius' Order Forbidden Zone? Obviously, we don't know what he's saying, so I wonder if we can fix him first later and then like ask these things again um I got it already those two names give you nightmares or maybe there's gonna be a weird thing like if we keep talking we suddenly understand him or something can you tell me about these technologies climb ones uh oh yeah it sparked really New asking you would be useful. <laughs> it's kind of me now. Oh. Oh, wait. Is there actually going to be something here? Wait, after listening a bit, that's Robot Terminal Protocol you're broadcasting, right? Hmm. Well, I've hacked enough Robot Terminals to know. <laughs> <laughs> nice pun on the head of Fire Ref. Oh, it's boo. Um, interesting, interesting. So your broadcast pattern is Robco Termlink, but not by choice. So we're actually understanding it in him now. If this Robco Termlink protocol, doesn't that mean it can be hacked? It will only take a second to violate your rights and make your choice mine. A uh, voice mine, sorry. Um, or do I want to really say that? That's kind of mean. Um, let's go to with this one. If that's terminal code, don't worry. I'm not going to take advantage of your exposed code. Maybe he'll say something where it's like, okay, it's fine, do it, do it, do it. Saying a lot of things. Ooh, I can't karma. On the same way that completed it. So I, could, I guess I could have fixed it and to see what he would say. But no. If he doesn't want me to, I shouldn't do that. Um, and another problem. I know what it's like to be experimented on. Uh, about when I first arrived. Tell me you didn't sonjaculate it into the, my sonic emitter. Ooh, this box is not updated with my UI mod. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh man, these these dialogues are amazing. Jeez. There's some uh, there's some answers in here. Nothing to be embarrassed about. It's just that it's best to keep that stuff private, you know. Cram answer though. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Now that we know each other better, can you tell me about the Sonic emitter? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm interesting. Interesting. He said what? Really? Huh? Yeah. 
I totally agree, man. I hate that too when that happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. Hicks Village, can you point it out on my Pip Boy? Thanks, dude. So your house is there. And you haven't cleaned up in a while. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so there's an emitter code in your house in Hicks. Alright. Oh, two codes. One for the jukebox and one for the opera. Nice. I'll keep an eye out. This is a clever way of doing it. It's like the lessy thing. Anyway, I'll be going then. No, oh, it looks so sad. It's like the lessy thing when it's like, woof, woof. It's like, oh, Timmy fell into a well? Woof, woof. And you somehow understand what they're saying. Oh, they're down here. Okay. Let's keep talking. Takes a while, but it's good information. Wow. The lobotomite animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? Be warned. Attempt communist, to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? Jeez. Uh, do you always get this dramatic? Drama? There is no drama in science. As I learned in high school, science is an intellectual pursuit devoid of bestial emotions. Unless, of course, you are a communist. Like Betsy Bright, who sat next to me in math, and her smoking confederate Richie Marcus. As I learned in my high school, American High, AHS, drama is for movies, things of fiction. Here in the think tank, the only star is science. What about science fiction? Can I say something like this? No. Uh, who are you? What do you do here? Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers, they are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. Industrious Cazadors, okay. You're responsible for those? Indeed. Docile, curious, safe, uh. sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for observation. Okay, what makes you think they haven't escaped? Because Big Mountain safety measures are far more sophisticated than their primitive animal instincts. We are their lords and masters. Um, I don't think they're sterile. They're breed, all right? I cannot expect a lobotomite to understand the careful surgical castrating procedures used in their creation. Perhaps a demonstration of my castrating power would settle your doubts. Not on me, please. Uh... <laughs> oh no, I kinda wanna try this. But I don't know if that's gonna be bad. Go ahead, you might be more fertile or impregnate me. Impregnate you? What? Do you want to make me vomit inside my tank? The mere notion makes the edges of my biomed gel crystallize into asymmetrical patterns. Okay, wow. Um, you don't seem to have a grasp on your own research. Nonsense! That is what you speak. Nonsense from beyond! I was at the top of my high school class in American high school. I knew facts. I knew figures. I knew data. We would know if our research was flawed. It is not. 
We never contradict ourselves, so do not even try. All right. When did you create the Casadors? In 2000. Let's see. Carry the three, then count backwards with the Great Static, or beyond. There were the Tarantula debates and something about hawks, which made it around uh, 2003. May, Tuesday, uh, it was definitely Tuesday. Why are we even debating this? What you ask is of no importance. Mobius besieges us. There are more important things to worry about than data and facts. Yeah, but that's like, that's like science though. Um, let's see. I wonder if that 2003 is true, if they really have been around for that long. Cause that's quite a long time. Um, let's go with this one. I want to know more about Mobius and the Forbidden Zone. The malignant tumor that is Mobius plagues us all. His hunger for power, insatiable. From his lair in the Forbidden Zone, his terrifying Robo Scorpion army clicks and whirs across the crater of Big Mountain, ever seeking, ever stinging. He must be stopped, or all of Big Mountain shall be destroyed. Okay. Well, maybe that wouldn't be a terrible idea, to be honest. Tell me about this radar fence around the crater. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside, like us. And anything without a brain, also inside. It is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. Okay. That means you're trapped in here too? Trapped? Nonsense. We are secure here from evil philosophies. Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. That and giant cybernetic dogs that would ruthlessly patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend. Like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. Who's laughing now, Betsy? I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. Wow. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. He's not letting go, huh? You don't want to leave here? No. Beyond is death, despite mounting evidence to the contrary. No matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Um... Doesn't that prove you're wrong? Enough! Stop filling my precious brain cell <laughs> units with irrelevant data. You sound like the other visitors, making wild claims of a world beyond, where there right. is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable. Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. I have no time. None of us do. I wonder what he thinks where those people came from then. Why does Klein want these particular technologies? There is logic and purpose in it. If these technologies are needed to pierce the Forbidden Zone, so be it. Science is powerful, and in the right hands, our hands, if we had hands, we would be nigh unstoppable. Okay. I don't know if you guys should have that then. Can you tell me about the big, uh, I mean, big mountain? It is our home, threatened by the horrors of Mobius. All we wish to do is continue our research. Layer upon layer, above and beneath the floor of the crater, until we have our answers. But no, Mobius will not let us rest 
scaring us with his scary robots with their laser tails and blowing up all the time. Uh, why have we leveled this place? It was not our first choice of testing grounds, but we no longer have the luxuries of our test cities. Then we lost the mountain. After the explosion, we couldn't find it anymore. So the crater became our testing grounds. For science! Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder what happened to that mountain you blew up. Uh, test cities? Yes. In the past, individuals would come to us, pay for technology, and if their town, community, or city was just right, we could use that city as a controlled experiment. Baltech was much better at it, of course. We had to make do. Get permission. Sometimes. If only we could have used Kami cities. But capturing whole cities was hard, so we captured enough commies to make cities of our own. So we had a group of Chinese prisoners to experiment on. Those were the days. But the true test was science on unsuspecting Americans. Whether it was holograms, new autodocs, toxins, vending machines, we wound them up, let them go into tiny, isolated towns. Then, we observed. That sounds not so great. Well, some of them are good, but like toxins and, you know, prisoners, maybe not the best. What was this explosion? Boom! Yes, quite unexpected and embarrassing. All better now after the landscaping, though. Much more pleasing to our monitors. And the crater helps keep everything inside, because it is bowl-shaped. Yes, like craters usually are. Uh, I had other questions. Submit your questions. I shall respond with deadly answers. Deadly? Actually, that was all of it. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. These guys are crazy. Stick with me here, guys. We're gonna get through these dialogues right away. So, I know sometimes maybe the dialogue heavy episodes aren't the greatest. But, you know, at least they're funny. They're funny dialogue, so we can get through here. Only two you more to go, I think. You are specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear. Facing me, epidermis flushed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please. So that I might record it for further examination. She creeps me out, man. The Crick Scribe jumped over the Lazy Paladin? Nice. Yes, yes. Go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue. Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouth or cavity. Oh boy. <laughs> you seem to be looking at me a lot. Too bad we don't have that check. Eight perception, huh? If I had my beret on, maybe we would have had it. Not quite sure. Uh, actually, can I try this? We spoke in that up. Let me double check this real quick. Maybe we'll try this. Let's put this one on. That counts towards this, right? Perception eight. Okay. And you return. Yes, I'm your teddy bear. Oh, looping gestures of greeting. Looping. Yes. It is a scientific away. fact that hormones drive a percentage of lobotomites into recursive behavior patterns. We haven't researched this, as my colleagues care little about the behavior patterns of lobotomites once their brains are removed. 
It is why so many are littered around the facility, like skin envelopes, discarded after they are peeled open and the contents extracted. Gross. What recursive behavior patterns are you talking about? It varies according to the number and density of lobotomites that have infected an area. In 43% of observed cases, two lobotomites left alone will fight for dominance or inject bodily fluids into each other's orifices. Unsanitary. I have tried to observe more cases, but subjects seem unwilling to release bodily fluids in my presence. I wonder why that is. I can't help but notice your fascination with the human body. What? Nonsense. <laughs> okay, can do some things here. We can close eyelids, breathe deeply, then stretch languidly. I don't know if that's how you say that. Turn and cough roughly, then slowly scratch nose. Run your hands along the sides of your face, then exhale rapidly. What? What are you doing? Um. Close eyelids, breathe deeply, then stretch. Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this uh, filthy formography? So weird, man. So weird. Enough. I'm already intrigued. You have sufficiently percolated me. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It, it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle and tissue. Well, then again, in Fallout 4, I made out with a robot brain too in Far Harbor, so probably wouldn't be too different here. Um, why don't you just give in? There's nothing wrong with looking at the human body. Perhaps, perhaps there is value in what you say. I, I did so enjoy breathing once, long ago. Uh, this is mean. This is weird. Let's go with the weird one. I could come back at any time and just breathe if you want. Would you? I feel so ashamed, but yet so intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might run over. If you're ready, let me radar scan you. Slowly. Ooh. Ooh. I feel so weird right now, but I got energy cells, it looks like. Not many, though. Um, okay, who are you? What do you do here? Why, my little bear of teddiness. <laughs> I am Dr. Dalla, first head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences. I have 211 doctorates in both applied sciences and techniques to apply those sciences. I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. That is merely schooling, however. When possible, I prefer fieldwork and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. 211 doctorates? How is that even possible? Why, we create not only scientific marvels here at Big Mountain, but new sciences as well. Everything can be quantified, categorized, and dissected until every group can be subgrouped or partitioned. Okay. First head chief researcher? Lots of titles. What is a name without a title or suffix for the sake of hierarchy? It is a long-standing quantification of personality and importance. We could not do without it, 
Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached appellations, just as surely as you must have a title. Uh, I'm sometimes called a courier. Oh, a mailman. A delivery man. Someone who takes parcels from place to place using their primitive feet or similar conveyance. You are the second one I've met in recent times. Oh. Very different specimens. Yeah, I think Christine said that, right? So, talk about a second courier. There was like a fight between couriers or something in the Big Empty 2. There was another courier? Of course. You must have met others in your travels. This one had met other couriers too. Although it sounded as if he hadn't met the correct one. He asked us all many questions. And then he asked a most perplexing one. We had to segment the event out of our memories for safety. Okay, what was the question? I do not know, nor should we try to access it. Perhaps Klein has the logs. My evaluation would be to let your own curiosity go. I do not think that Klein remembers the conversation as being satisfactory. Weird. I really wonder if like someone was trying to find us or something. He came and went. Why did you remove my brain, and how? Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. But once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. The brain is finally free of the skin envelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. The bottomites. With you, however, something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. Mm hmm. But how am I still talking and walking around? That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. It really could be anywhere. Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you could humanically reduce yourself again. Okay. Well, I kind of like my upgrades. I don't really want to, to be honest. I feel strange in here, peaceful, but on edge. It is the pacification field emitters that are broadcasting into the emptiness of your skull. Without a brain, your aggression is suppressed in here. Is there any way to shut it off? Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, on us, again and again. Then I would have to return the favor, activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. Not something I would relish doing. No, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the lobotomites here. Interesting. I wonder if, like, once we get the brain back, we could technically go in here and kill them all. An interrogation. How fascinating. Please begin. Uh, can you tell me about Dr. Uh, Dr. Mobius? Dr. Mobius? A monstrous brain creased with wrinkles of a thousand evils, with but one jaundiced eye with which to perceive the world. Exiled from the think tank for crimes too heinous to remain in recorded memory, and perhaps differences in research methodology. His one terrible eye forever peers at us, an eye of ever-increasing magnification. He watches from his dome in the Forbidden Zone, spying on us all. Ah, so that one eye we keep seeing is his. I don't understand how the tech climb ones will help. It'll all become clear. If not, at least we will have the technology here at the dome where all technology belongs. When we have all the technology, all the answers, we can share it with the world, piece by piece. All will be in order. And all will be like Big Mountain. Okay, can you tell me more about Big Mountain? This mountain, now crater, 
encompasses the sum total of knowledge of humankind. It is Big Mountain, where all questions can be answered. You'll see. No matter what your questions, Big Mountain will provide the answers, as it has done for so many before you. The previous test subjects? Oh yes, we've had other subjects visit. It's why we had to calibrate the pacification field and warm up our brainial beams and vivisectors. Only a short time ago, we had three minus one subjects arrive, and they ruined several experiments and even injured two of our staff. It is a shame their brains left with them. With you, however, we have taken precautions to ensure that problem won't repeat itself. We've conditioned you so you can't speak of this place, discuss our secrets, or attempt to use force against us in any way. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's fantastic. Why did you say three minus one subjects before? Because three minus one is two. Two spoke to us, one after the other. One mean, one curious. But there was a third we didn't speak to. The last one is the minus one. It got traumatized, then taken to one of our medical centers for de-traumatization. A rather unsettling procedure. Is that, is that what happened to Christine? Is that where, where she got like her voice torn or something? What happened with the visitors? Ask Dr. O. And you could have asked eight once until he was severely damaged in the attack. We like him better this way. Okay. Any other questions I have here? Nope, that's all. Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Sounds good. I want to quickly check in one of the quests we got there was the wavelengths. This one. Investigate. Oh, that's all it said. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I guess we could have maybe dug around. Maybe we wouldn't have fixed him or something. Maybe we would just make things worse or whatever. But um, I like the option we did. You know, like, don't, don't do it if he doesn't want to. So, I like that more. And then I think this is the last one, guys. And then we're through here. Breaking news! Talking Lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Its purpose? Unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here? Unpossible. You're Dr. O, right? Oh? Oh, yes. I'm not going to bother correcting you. At least you got the doctor part correct. I can be grateful for that, absolutely. Stop the presses! Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? It is! What's your agenda bringing that in here? He's kinda weird. Uh, what, my pit boy? How dare you bring Rob Kotek in here? What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are? Ooh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses at Big Mountain can make in the last a thousand years. Uh, you're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. Ugh. Damn Robco. He really hates them, huh? I don't think I'll worry you by telling you what House and his robots have been up to since. <laughs> worry about House? Why would I do this? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. And him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. Get girl bots? Calm down, just want to ask some questions. Fine. Ask. Okay. I heard you and Aid were attacked by previous visitors. I don't like to talk about it. Aid, he can't talk about it. They fried his voice module. Something good. It wasn't all the visitors, though. Only one of them got out of control. He's the one that took control of Little Yangtze, our old human farm. Okay, tell me what happened. This human, I can't believe it. He broke out of the think tank in seconds. Then he went for Yangtze, got bomb collars, and started practicing on the subjects that were still there until he got the right frequency. We were sending robots to stop him, and he was slicing and cutting through their shells with some souped-up laser gun like they were cheese paper. When he hacked into the mainframe, A tried to stop him and got fried. Me? He rerouted my processors to take control of the train network here. If you see the tunnels with the trains plowed into them, you can thank our visitor for that. He wrecked the whole place. 
While we were trying to keep containment on the surface, turns out he used one train to punch out a tunnel and escape. Sealed now. But... Okay, so I'm guessing that was Elijah. And I'm curious now if Elijah's laser weapon would have been like super good here then. Sounds like it was good, but you know, with us not having the right skills, it might not have been great either. Who were the others? Two other human specimens. One arrived not long after the troublemaker. And the last one, not sure when he showed up. Thought the first one was going to be lobotomized in Y-17. She got out somehow. Yeah, that's Christine. The last subject, Klein might know more. He talked to him and let him leave the think tank. Hope he knew what he was doing. Why is that? Klein knows things we don't. And I think he told some of those things to the last visitor. Dangerous things that they ever got out. Okay, so what do you do here? All things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that way. Deconstructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning state. Hmm, that doesn't sound impressive. <laughs> Breaking machines, that is. Who asked you? You just wait until a working machine threatens you, and you'll wish I was around. Okay, fair enough. Do you have another name? Yeah, I do. It wasn't always O. I just took that one by default, because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. Oh, come on. I'm a good listener. Got the ears for it. Great. Psychology. Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after Colosto Diuretics. <laughs> okay, so my name is an O, never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Ah, uh, if they kept confusing the letter with a number, your name is Dr... Oh, Dr. Zero? Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Okay. I don't know. That sounds more impressive. Uh, no, I'm gonna go with this. Alright. So you want me to call you Zero, or...? Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, alright? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh, vivisect me, please. Okay, wow, nine intelligence. Well, zero and O oh do look a lot alike. There's no way to tell them, to tell a difference. I guess I can do it anyway, but, uh... It, I don't think I'll be getting nine intelligence. I'm gonna do this. I might as well take that up on that subtle vivisection competition. Forget this. It's like talking to Klein's rear shell. Okay. So let's see what he said. Uh, oh, I guess maybe let's double what? check this. Oh yeah, we can do this again later. Cool. Tell me about Mobius and these monsters of his. That genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive-looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Try to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every time. Supposedly, he has even larger models. Even a giant robot scorpion hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, right. Giant monsters, sure. Okay, that's scary. Although, I, I was just thinking, I guess we can use chems to boost our intelligence. I always forget that that's possible in this. Um, I don't think it's like really possible for like Does it? I mean there there aren't really any checks for it though, are there? I'm not sure why I keep thinking you couldn't boost them with that. I always feel like these temporary buffs wouldn't count towards, you know, skill checks and stuff, but I think they do. A giant robot scorpion? Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? I'm sure I will meet him. Can you tell me about this facility? Big Mountain used to be a mountain, then there was a slight mishap, now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried, now it's exposed to the sky. Don't get me wrong, it makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra, so soothing. Okay, I need more of those versus caps to test the CIU bada functions upstairs. I'd have a few left, 
Let me check. Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. <laughs> Keeps the place tidy. Okay, thanks. Okay, I think we've spoken long enough. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. So let's have a check then real quick. Because we can probably... Might have something that boosts our intelligence by two. Uh, at least. And then... There we go. Mentids. And I think that will help. Uh, talk about your name. Yes. If you wanted to, uh, to differentiate the O and O... Well, zero, I guess. Just put a slash through the zero. What? Zero. Draw a slash through it. Did... Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant. I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, oh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. Oh, come on. <laughs> and that's what makes you truly a zero. <laughs> I love that so much. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with this. Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. Oh, is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Like I'm assuming he meant a zero thing because he felt like he's useless, right? He's a zero. Um. <sighs> As an O oh, of discovery. Mm, well, there's the power in zero. It reduces anything multiplied against it to zero. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? Yeah, why I not? like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. The make a zero in all the think tank. <laughs> they won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. Yeah, it's pretty effective. So, Zero, I wish this text would update. Got any amazing discoveries to share? You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derezzes my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at this. Just uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? What did I get? Scrap electronics. Scrap metals. <laughs> okay, so he built. He built it. Um, yeah, it certainly is interesting, whatever it once was. You know what? I'm not even going to pretend. I broke one of the monitors, and those innards start falling out everywhere. If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. Okay. All right, see you later. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Yeah, it's too bad that it doesn't change his name to the Zero version. Um, okay, we're getting some scrap pieces. I want to quickly double-check with O again, see if we can actually talk about the things. Um, I wanted to ask you some questions. Nope, okay. Uh, but there's other stuff, it seems like. Good to see you too, Eight. Any new discoveries today? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, I guess that's it. But there was something else, though, no? Trust me, I get the technologies, alright? Alright. Because, like, they were talking about that he might know more about the attack, etc. Or Dr. Did Klein, you right? The technology? No. I heard one of the previous visitors to the dome spoke to you, asked you some questions. Hmm? Oh yes, the last visitor. Well, the one just before you. Had an interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. What did we speak about? Melancholy fellow, had questions about uh, history, but our conversation got interrupted. Twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time. Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's incessant transmissions keep distracting me. Also, we didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe. Oh well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. I don't make many mistakes in calculation or perception, so probability favors me. Hmm, specific language, huh? Is he talking about Elijah, or is, or is he talking about, like, Caesar? 
Yeah. All right. Huh. Is that update or completed? Uh, I guess I completed that one too, huh? He came and went. Okay. A lot of these missions are like very short and you just complete them kind of after a while. All right. That was um, almost an hour of talking. So I think we're done with talking for a while, hopefully. <laughs> At least I want to be because I'm not a big talker. Um, once in a while it's nice, but like all the time it's a bit too much.